Hey guys, this is Mod is here. Welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you another beautiful ENB graphics mode for your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Well, this graphics mode is completely made for your low end PC. Wanted to know what will be its system requirements? Please listen carefully. You need only 2GB of RAM and a dual core processor with Intel HD graphics. Now, if you have this type of system requirements, then you're good to go, my friend. In this mod, you will get new taxes, new trees, new animation, new sun flare, GT5 guns, GT5 weapon wheel mod. Ragdoll animation, Sleo, McLaren 675LT as a New Year gift, RZL Trainer, HD Reflections, HD Water, Indicator Lights, Auto Spoiler, First Person Mode, and many more things you cannot imagine. Well, these are the all features of this mode. Wanted to know how to install and how to use this into your game? Please watch this video till end. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started to the video, guys. But wait, before getting started, I've seen many of my viewers are watching my video without subscribing to this channel. So, what you're doing, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now and leave a like on this video and share this video to all your friends so that your friend may also enjoy our mod. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started to the video, guys. <laughs> So my friend, as you can see, we are in our desktop screen and first thing you need to download all this file from the given link in the description. Once you downloaded all the file, make sure to extract the first file into your desktop and then open your game directly my friend. Now once your game directory has been opened, open your Sleo ASI Loader plus Mod Loader and then just drag and drop all this file into your game directory and then you are all there. Now go back and search for the graphics fix. From here also just drag and drop all this file into your game directory and these are the very compulsory steps if you don't follow the new game must crash. Well if you well if you want to avoid the crashes and all the errors then please make sure to watch this video till end and follow my every step. Now search for your RZL trainer and then from here open Sleo from your game directory and then just drag and drop all the RZL trainer files into your game directory and then you are all done. Now we'll install Skybox, okay? Now if you want to install the Skybox, then open your Skybox folder and then just drag and drop all this file into your mod loader folder. And then you're all done my friend. Now go back and now we'll install GTA 5 hood, okay? Now if you want to install the GTA 5 hood, then just navigate all this file into your game directory and then you're all done. Well, go back and now we'll install Lens Flare. Now if you want to install the lens player, then also just drag and drop all this file into your game directory and then congratulations you have successfully installed your lens player. Now everything will be shown in this video only. So please make sure to watch this video till end. Now minimize both of this window and then extract your main mod my friend. Now once the main mod has been extracted, open your extracted mod and then open your game directly. Now from here, open your requirements folder and if you haven't installed a DirectX or if you face error like uh, GTSA requires at least DirectX 9, so make sure you install the DirectX that is given on the requirements folder. Now open your NB series folder and then just drag and drop all this file into your game directory and then hit on replace if it asks. Okay. Now we'll show you the gameplay my friend. Now whenever you are launching your game, make sure to launch enb.exe. You know, make sure to launch enb.exe because this is very compulsory. If you don't launch enb.exe then you might face error like could not dictate the game version, please contact the mod creator or blah 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 fucking hell. Now here you can see some updates are available so make sure to click on updates okay. Now it will automatically update your files. From here turn on the internet only you know now guys if your game crashes in between the loading screen then the thing you can do is go to your setting mod configuration and then modification then turn off all of this mod now as you can see our update has been successfully completed now we'll show you the gameplay my friend
So my friend, as you can see, we are in our game. OMG, look at the new textures, new trees, hmm, new animation, new sun flare, new guns, GTA 5 weapon wheel, ragdoll animation. If you want to access the slew menu, then press Ctrl plus C, go to your vehicle spawning and then go to your sports car section and then you can actually access the McLaren 675 LT. It is given you as a new year gift. So accept this as a new year gift, you know. Now, if you want to access the RGL trainer, then press F2 from your keyboard and then you can actually access the RGL trainer. Now, if you want to enable the skybox, then press 1 and then as you can see, our beautiful skybox has been successfully enabled. Now, oh my god, look at the beautiful reflection, you know, so it will run perfectly on a low end PC. Now, if you want to enable your indicator lights, then press X, Z or Swift. With this keys, you can actually control your indicator lights. Now, now if you go faster in your Mac McLaren 6 and 5 LT, then as you can see, oh my god, the auto spoiler, you know. And if you want to access the first person menu, then press V several times. And OMG, as you can see, our first person mod has been successfully enabled. Oh, look at the beautiful next level lights. So thank you so much for watching till end, guys. I appreciate your presence. You watched my video till end. So if you want to see more of this content like this, and if you're new in this channel, then what are you doing? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to all. You know, set the notification to all so that you, my friend, never miss any of my future upload. And please make sure to leave a like on this video. Share this video as much you can. So as always, I'll see you in my next one. Till then, goodbye.